Algebra 1, number 3.11b, we're talking about compound algebraic expressions. This is consecutive integers, odd or even. So remember, integers are positive and negative whole numbers and zero. Well, two integers that differ by one, like 15, 16, 17, they're called consecutive integers. And it's consecutive order means they follow each other without skipping. They're in sequence, one after another, aren't they? When counting by odd integers, we count one, three, five, seven, nine, etc. right? These are consecutive odd integers. They're all in order odd numbers. When counting by even integers, we count two, four, six, eight, and so on, right? Those are consecutive even integers. They skip count by two. So do the odd ones, don't they? Now remember, there's going to be video links in this description for similar and helpful videos, okay, in case you have trouble. So consecutive integers follow each other when we count by one. It's regular consecutive integers. So it makes sense to find a consecutive integer to just add 1 plus 1 to the previous integer. If x was an integer, we could do x plus 1. That's the next largest integer. And if we do x minus 1, that's the next smallest integer. If we have 5, 6, 7, and 8, those are consecutive integers all in order in sequence, aren't they? And the 5 is our base number that we're going to start with. So if we do 5 and then 5 plus 1, that's going to get us 6. 5 plus 2 is going to get us the 7, and 5 plus 3 is going to get us the 8. And if we assign x as this integer, we have x, then x plus 1, x plus 2, x plus 3, and that's four consecutive integers. See? 1, 2, 3, 4. And if we rewrite this as x plus x plus 1 plus x plus 2 plus x plus 3, and we combine the like terms, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, x, plus 1 and 2 is 3, and 3 is 6. So 4x plus 6 equals 4 consecutive integers. See? Let's try it with odd ones. Consecutive odd integers follow each other when we skip count by 2s, starting with an odd integer. So it makes sense to find the next consecutive odd integer by adding 2 plus 2 to the previous odd integer. If we let x equal an odd integer, then x plus 2 is the next odd integer, and x minus 2 is the next smallest odd integer. We have 3, 5, 7, and 9. Those are consecutive odd integers. And we have 3, then 3 plus 2, then 3 plus 4, then 3 plus 6. And that's going to get us the 5, the 7, and the 9. We can do x, x plus 2, x plus 4, x plus 6. And that's four consecutive odd integers. We can combine the like terms x, x plus 2, x plus 4, x plus 6. We have 4 x's plus 12. 2 and 4 is 6, plus 6 is 12. That is the equation that will get us 4 consecutive odd integers. And you know what? It's the same equation for even, because consecutive even integers follow each other when we skip count by 2's also, starting with an even integer. So it makes sense to just add 2 plus 2 to the previous integer to get the next even one. So if we let x equal an even integer, x plus 2 is the next largest even integer, and x minus 2 is the next smallest even integer, just like it was for the odd ones, because that skips count, skip counts by 2, doesn't it? So if we have 4, 6, 8, 10, these are consecutive even integers counting by 2s, aren't they? So we could do 4, then 4 plus 2 to get the 6, 4 plus 4 to get the 8, and 4 plus 6 to get the 10. And our plus number is going up by 2, 2, 4, 6. And if we do x and x plus 2, x plus 4, x plus 6, that gets us 4 consecutive even integers. And we can write it as an equation and combine like terms and get 4x plus 12 equals 4 consecutive even integers, just like it got us four consecutive odd integers. It's the same equation because they both skip count by two, all right? So in the next video, 11, 3.11c, I'm going to show you how to actually write these equations for addition, subtraction, multiplication, so that the video after that, we're going to actually do some word problems where we need those equations, okay? So I hope this was helpful. I hope you're okay. And keep your chin up. We're going to make it through this, and I'll see you next video. Bye.